Hey, Max from Abstract Automation here. So I want to share with the community what I've been doing with uh, Zoho CRM, ChatGPT, and Zoho Flow. Now I know Zoho is introducing some major AI features. They call it AI agents right around the corner. I think we're maybe a month or two away of that happening. And I'm super excited and I hope that everything that Zoho releases very soon completely makes what I'm about to show you obsolete, right? But uh, I really don't know what the Zoho is actually gonna bring to the table here. So uh, I've been just working on my own, trying to uh, build out some cool stuff with these applications. So let me give you a quick example of uh, something that we can do. Um, so I've got a blueprint in my Zoho CRM, I'm on a contact record, and just by giving uh, the system uh, some notes based on a conversation I had with this contact. Now that could be um, maybe the content of a previous email that I've sent to the contact or that they've sent to me. Uh, I, it might be a summary or transcript that I've gotten from a meeting with that contact through Zoom or Teams or whatever. Uh, or it might just be you know notes that that I've uh, taken uh, manually uh, through throughout the conversations. Anyway, those notes will provide the context of the email, and then I also give the system a very short instruction as far as how long or how many words I want the email to be, and what is the intent of the email. What am I trying to get out of this email I am sending this contact? So let me show you how it's used. So when I'm on the contact, I click Gen AI email and I'm prompted to put in three things here. So first is the intent of the email. Let's say it's schedule a meeting, okay? And the, the length of the email in words. So uh, generally 50 words would be a short email, uh, real quick, couple sentences long. Um, what I can put in here 100, 200, whatever words. I can also default these, so I don't have to type this stuff in every time, right? So I'm just doing this as demonstration. Then the context uh, for the prompt. And so in this case, what I'm doing is I took a meeting summary that Zoom generated and I'm pasting it into this box here. So there's quite a lot of text here, right? So this is close to 2000 uh, characters of text going to save that and that's it. Now it takes about five seconds for that information to be sent to Zoho Flow, which then sends it to ChatGPT and then it comes back into the system in fields for output. So if I scroll down on the contact record, you can see that I've got the fields that I keyed in for input I've got email length, email intent, and prompt context. Those are the three fields I just filled in in the blueprint a moment ago. And then I have three output fields, email greeting, email subject, email body, which are currently blank. But let me just refresh the page because though those fields should be filled in by now. And scroll down and there we go. So you can see here we have a greeting, hi Joe. and so. Uh, we have a subject line, following up on our recent chat, and then the actual body. Thanks for our discussion about the supply chain integration project. So you see here where it's smart enough to take the context of the notes that I give it and make the email relevant to this particular contact and not just that, to the last conversation that we had together. Um, and so I can go back up onto this button here a week later, click the gen email again, give it exactly the same parameters. I don't have to check or change anything here. And then within another five seconds, I'm going to get another brand new email content generated um, that's going to be different from the last, right? It's going to have the same intent. It's going to have the same sort of general tone or general idea, uh, but it's going to be different. So if we scroll down here again, same thing, uh, you know, it might look like the same text to you right now, but it is slightly different text. These are slightly different sentences. Um, so what's really cool about this is I only need to create one super simple email template that only has 
a placeholder for the greeting, hi Joe, the subject line, and the email body, and then just have my signature at the bottom of that email, and literally just that one email template and that button click is going to give me really an infinite emails generated, right? Um, so just to show you to use the email template, I can click send email here. I have uh, the email template in the listing called AI generated simple template, right? And there it is. So it's just grabbing the text from those fields. It looks like I got an extra comma in my template. I'll have to fix that. Um, now there's some things I'm still working on. Uh, you know, I would like it to do a little bit better job of formatting these into shorter paragraphs, something like this, right? But it does allow me to edit the email before it actually goes out. So I can double check it. Um, and again, this was a, uh, I think I made it 50 words or whatever. Um, that's a variable that I can flip. Now, the most important thing or the hardest part really for me to get this to happen is getting chat GPT to write an email in a similar voice as what I would naturally use to write an email to a prospect or to a customer. Um, if you don't, if you're not very careful about your, uh, your, your instructions in your prompt, ChatGPT has a tendency to sound overly technical, overly academic. Um, but even if you tell it like, hey, can you speak in an informal voice? Well, then it, it often goes goofy on the whole other side of the spectrum, right? Where it's like just, um, yo, dude, what's up, right? It's like, that's how it starts writing emails. So I spent a lot of time honing that sort of balance, what I feel is, is more of a natural voice. Um, when I read this email, um, you know, yeah, there might be a few little bits of words that I wouldn't use, but it's, there's, there's no really big words. It's direct to the point. It's not trying to crack jokes. Um, so that is a huge part of it. And just to show you, you know, how this is maybe all happening, give you an idea of how this gets all put together. So I'm using Zoho flow to, uh, execute this. Um, so what's happening is Zoho flow is sitting here waiting to get a contact ID from Zoho CRM. So when I click that button, Zoho CRM sends the ID number of the contact that I click the button on over to Zoho Flow. It's the only piece of info it's transferring initially to Zoho Flow. Zoho Flow grabs that ID and goes back to CRM and grabs the details that it needs from the contact. In this case, all it's getting from the contact is first name of the person, the uh, three input fields that I gave it, right? The number, the length, the number of words that I want, the intent, right? Schedule a meeting and the chunk of text that would be my notes or a uh, summary from our last meeting. It's taking that information and then it's, it's combining that info with a very specific prompt that I'm giving it. And the prompt is in this window here. I know it's really hard to read. Uh, I would have to, let me just take this, out and throw it into a notepad or something so you can see it. Yeah. So um, here is the prompt. So what I'm saying is I'm telling it what model to use. Uh, I'm telling it you, your task is to write a short, friendly and personalized email for a single recipient, blah, blah, blah. So telling it, you know, how to use the information that I'm giving it, what tone to write in. I'm also giving it a link to my booking page on Calendly. And so when I tell it uh, the goal or the intent is to schedule a call or schedule a meeting, it's making sure that it includes the link to that recipient so they can come uh, and, and instead of just reply to the email, they can book a time slot with me. Uh, and it's just doing this within maybe four to five seconds, all right? So once it gets those instructions and ChatGPT generates that information, it then sends that information back to the contact record in the Zoho CRM into those fields that I specified earlier. We scroll down here, right? So we've got what we're sending to the AI and we're see, we have what we're getting back from the AI. So I think this is pretty cool. Uh, I think I still have work to do before this is truly ready for prime time, but it's interesting and I'm going to keep tweaking it, making it better and better. 
And, uh, you know, if Zoho beats me to it, then that's great. But if, uh, if, they, if their version 1.0 doesn't quite cut it, then I've got this to fall back on. All right. Thank you very much. Hope this is interesting. Take care.